What's up everyone, Gamer King Tario here, and today I'm going to take a look at the Wii U TV app that was released earlier this week on the Wii U. Supposedly it's going to change the way that we watch television, so I thought I would give it a spin, tell you what it does, and tell you what I think of it. First, to set up the app, you simply need to start the Wii U and click on the Wii U TV app, which is a little red television, after you do the latest Wii U update. The software will take you through a setup phase, and here you can begin choosing your favorite movies, channels, TV shows, and sports teams that will all be migrated to a single source. You can add or remove any of these at any time. During the setup, you can also choose your preferred social network. The game automatically defaults to the awesome Miiverse, but you can add your Facebook and Twitter accounts as well. So once you're all set up, what does the TV app do to change the face of television? The answer is not all that much right now, but it does add a layer of convenience and on-demand functionality to your remote. The social interaction part could be interesting, but it's not totally for me. People who have more friends may find it more useful to tweet and Facebook about what they're watching from their gamepad. But essentially, your Wii U gamepad becomes a visual remote control, never taking the action off the TV while you navigate what you want to watch. There are a couple things I want to mention. First is that the whole setup worked instantly for me. There was no frustration, it immediately knew my cable provider, and changing channels and searching for TV shows worked as intended. I felt completely comfortable controlling my TV from my Wii U gamepad. This is important because had it been difficult to use or the setup not worked off the bat, I might have gotten frustrated and never tried to use it again. The best example of how to use the app is the live button. This allows you to hit a button and see what's playing on your television right now or going to be starting in the near future. It's a really cool feature. Say for instance you're in the mood to watch a movie. Instead of scrolling through all of your movie channels or pulling up a guide, you can simply hit the movie live button and see all the movies that are playing or going to be starting soon. It works well for TV as well. You can hit a button and say, ooh, Saved by the Bell is on, and instantly click over and watch Saved by the Bell. This gives you an instant general overview of what's on your airwaves instead of continuously channel surfing or pulling up your guide. It doesn't show every channel, but it bases the results that it shows off the movies and shows that you put down as your favorites. You can also search for TVs and movies and see when they're going to be on TV. And if they aren't, you can again stream or purchase them from one of the two providers. One unfortunate feature is that when I went to hit the record button, I got a message saying DVR functionality coming soon. This would have been a great step, and hopefully they can make this work flawlessly in the future. So you'll be able to search for a program, pick through the episodes, and record all from your gamepad. Sports fans may find the most use out of the app, especially fantasy sports users. Today I spent the day watching NFL Red Zone on my TV, and I had access to all the other scores and games going on on my gamepad. You can also dig a little deeper and get near real-time gamecasts of all the games. So I had NFL Red Zone going on my TV and a game cast of my Panthers on my gamepad. It's a nice little feature, but nothing I couldn't do on my tablet already. One unique feature is the ability to comment on games in real time via the game cast. This allows you to comment not just on the game itself, but on individual plays that happen during a game. This feature has a lot of potential to add a couch social interaction to watching sports. Unfortunately, there were not a lot of people using it today when I tried it out, but the potential is there to bring a community feeling to watching a game from the comfort of your own living room. The last key feature is you don't have to exit a game you're playing to start the app. So if you're someone like me who's constantly playing the gamepad while they're watching TV, it's nice that you don't have to exit the game and deal with the Wii U's long loading menus. I can simply start the app, find what I want to watch, and then go back to playing whatever game I was playing and left off exactly where I was on the gamepad. Overall, the more time I've spent with the TV app, the more I've enjoyed it. It's certainly not going to change the way I watch TV like HD TV or a DVR, and there really isn't all that much I could do on the gamepad that I couldn't do on my phone or tablet. Even so, its greatest strength is convenience, to have it all in one place and in my hands, and it makes my gamepad my primary TV remote and the coolest universal remote around.